So, hello guys, today we're gonna start a new tutorial about how to do something like a physical model using SketchUp 2019 and V-Ray Next or V-Ray 4.0 for SketchUp. We're gonna start first by drawing the base, it will be 40 centimeters or 40 meters by 60 meters or 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Then make it as a group, making the offset for the streets and the land then we're gonna scale it as much as we want and making the first curve will increase the segments by 200 so it will be a smooth curve scaling the side segment and then we're gonna make the surface road to reach the main entrance of the building as you can see making the smooth curves for a smooth circulation make the segments to 50 or 70 and that's it we're gonna extrude by 0.2 or 20 centimeter and now the step is to use the offset tool to make or we're gonna start by the first building scale it as much as we want make it as a group and then we're gonna make the stair going up inside the building making out the stair standard 5.15 by 30 then making the section and extruding it along the path and that's it then scaling it to make it more like a physical model making it as a group and then we're gonna draw the first base of the building as you can see and there we go extruding it and making it all as a group then selecting the base building we already done and putting it on the face we already drawn scaling it and then we're gonna extrude it by 6 meters then we're gonna make the first subtract in the building the main entrance extruding it and there we go until now we used only the offset tool and the extrude tool from the basic tools toolbar available in SketchUp then the next step is to do the other parts of the project starting by a normal square extruding it as you can see and that's it And now we're gonna press on control and move to make a copy of the building or that part of the building then this is the last one also we're gonna make a small subtract from this building as you can see 
extruding it. Oops. Okay, we're gonna make the first line delete and the second line to close the surface. Here we go. Then we're gonna make an offset. That doesn't work. We're gonna make the first rectangle to close this space. Make it thin by 0 0.4. And then using the offset tool, connecting the corners, and then pressing the left side arrow and move. This way we're gonna make like a protrude in the building. As you can see, this is a simple process without using any plugins. And we're gonna make the central area a small landscape space. Extruding it. And then using the offset tool as we made in the building, connecting the corners and then as you can see, pressing the up arrow and move using the offset to make the edges extrude and that's it now let's make some other landscape features just drawing a simple rectangle extruding it making the offset then extrude the edge making as a group now let's make some openings in the first building where we draw making a rectangle then extrude point 2 then making other rectangles for the opening pressing ctrl and move to make copy then pressing 3x to make three copies now we're gonna use the 1001 bit tools the create grill or windows or panel divider as you can see choose the, the outputs the inputs and there we go this is the first opening of the main building and then we're gonna do the same for the other openings as you can see using the 1001 bit tools we're gonna make number of rows as one and number of columns as four we're gonna make this window as a component so we, as we edit one, we edit all the windows, the same windows, as you can see. And then pressing Ctrl and move to make copies. I'm gonna make an offset, just a small protrude in the other building connecting the corners pressing left arrow side and then move selecting faces passed in place making as a group and then using the push and pull Fredo from Fredo
to make some aesthetical feature in this building as you can see and here we go we are gonna start now by the material phase I already chose the materials I wanna use then I'm gonna select the first building and applying the first material then we're gonna right click on the face clicking on texture to adjust the orientation of the material I made the material very big because it's a physical model so to give the best impression of it as you can see I made it as 25 by 15 centimeter the size of the materials then we're gonna choose the next building and applying the same material editing the position and the orientation then selecting it all the eye drop and then applying material the same material then the last building we're gonna choose another material for it a lighter one same we're gonna right click on the face and go to texture then position to adjust the orientation of this texture as you can see I'm gonna adjust the size of it so it will be more realistic then we're gonna apply another material for the base of the model you can go to color manipulation to adjust the main color of the texture so it gives an impression as a physical model and then applying it to the base we're gonna do the same for the main base of the building also as you can see we're gonna apply some landscape or some grass making the size to 2 meters then we go gonna do it, go to color manipulation and adjust the color to make it more uh, grayish and same for the other the center landscape as you can see and that's it We're gonna increase the reflection and the, the glossiness so it won't be a matte material. We're gonna make a big box and a rectangular plane light and then we're gonna adjust the various settings adding the scene and click on animation from the view animation add scene and then rendering it we're gonna put one tree on the main entrance uh, it's too big I guess I'm gonna change it let's see how to rotate it and adjust it uh, I guess it's too big let's choose another one maybe this will work okay and here we go let's do a test render adjusting the view updating the scene and then rendering it We're gonna make the base material a little bit lighter as it's too dark. Now we're gonna make a test render. 
Uh, that's better, I guess. Last step is to preserve your copyright. We're gonna do go to tools, then go to 3D text tools, and then writing down our name. Then, as you can see, selecting the faces, the main face, to engrave it in the model we already done. Ctrl C, then deleting all, edit, past in place, and then moving downward to the face base of the model. Then we're gonna paste in place and then e exploding it so it will be engraved in the model we already done. As you can see, just closing thumb some open surfaces, applying the same material and then we're gonna extrude it or engrave it. Then double tap, double tap on the other faces to repeat the last comment. As you can see, double tap. U H C T A K and S. Now we're gonna select the faces of the letters and adding some emissive light to this copyright SketchUp tutorials. Make it as a group. Then we're gonna choose the light orange color. Applying the material and then we're gonna do go to very editor selecting the material and adding an emissive layer put it as orange light orange and increasing the intensity to 5 and let's do a test render uh -huh, as you can see SketchUp tutorials is lighting up. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like this video, comment your thoughts, and follow our social media and go check my Patreon, The Arch Magazine. Thank you.